Hey guys, well as you can see my office looks a little bit different today. Uh, I'm traveling right now, I'm working on my photography business, but I didn't want to leave you guys without any videos, okay? So I made a series for you guys, for you to enjoy, until I get back, alright? See you guys soon, bye. Alright guys, well we're in my 2018 as you can see, and we're going to be modeling an arch. Now I lit up this reference image so you can kind of see what elements we have here. And uh, we're obviously going to start with the top and we're going to create our keystone, okay? So for that, we're going to go in and uh, let's get this guy roughly in the middle. We don't have to follow it exactly. It's uh, not the correct perspective anyway, but you know, just so we have an idea, right? So we're going to take a polygon cube. I'm going to move that up and we're going to hit a right click, vertex, pull that up. So that's the approximate size. Now, you probably noticed already that the bottom there is slightly arched. Uh, it's not called arch for nothing. So we're just going to flare this one out. And actually, let's do that symmetrical. That makes more sense. So let's say that's our top piece there, all right? Now, what we're going to do next is uh, first we're going to select this guy and push it out of the way. What we're going to do here is we're going to go in, we're going to go to, uh, let's see, insert pitch loop, option box, multiple, set that to three, and then we'll go in here and put in three like that. Then we're going to go in here and we're going to right click, go to vertex, drag select these bottom three in vertex mode. W, bring that up. Hi right, guys, well, uh, we're in my 2018, as you can see. This is part of an arch that we're gonna be modeling, and uh, that said, let's jump in, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with that centerpiece, and as I typically do, we're just gonna use this as something to look at. We're not gonna follow it exactly. We're going to hit R to uh, scale this up a bit. Let's uh, give it a bit of thickness. And we're working on the keystone here. We're going to right click at the vertex, drag select. Let's flare that out to about there. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in, insert edge loop, option box. Let's do a single. Uh, let's put that in about here. That's about right. Q on the keyboard, we're gonna right click, go to face. We're gonna select this face. Control E to extrude. Let's hit W and pull that out to about there. That looks about right. Uh, let me think, yeah. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna take that end. And I'm going to right click at a vertex. I'm going to drag select and hold down X and snap that and snap that as well. So it's nice and straight. Then we're going to go back in to injured edge loop again. And let's see, we'll do, uh, let's try six. See how that works. Very nice. Okay. So now that we have that, and you can adjust that if you want, we'll hit Q on the keyboard, we'll right click, go to vertex, drag, select these, hit W, and uh, kind of bring them in like this. But keep in mind that we are going to be bending these, okay? So don't worry about that too much. But if you can't stand the side of it, then, you know, it's okay, you can do that. All right, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna do one more time. This time we're gonna do multiple and set it to one. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna set it in the middle. Q on a keyboard, right click face, drag select, delete, right click object mode, control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, flip it around like this. And then we're gonna select both, go to mesh and combine right click at a vertex drag select the center vertices and go to mm, edit mesh and merge all right 
So now that we have this, we're going to go in and we're going to go to uh, deform. We're going to go to nonlinear and a bend. We need to rotate our bend handle. So we're going to hit E to rotate it. Hold down J. Flip it down like so. Now we need to check whether we're bending in the right direction. So we're going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. And let's go in here and let's see. Um, okay, that seems to be all right. So let's have a look here. And let's try to get a curvature that roughly fits our needs. I think that's fine. We're going to select it. We're going to go to Edit, Delete by Type and History so we can get rid of that curve. And yeah, there you go. Good, good. We're going to close this down. We're going to close that down. So that's what we have so far. Okay. And we want to have that separation between the stones, of course. Okay. So we're going to right click at the edge and I'm going to double click on this guy, this guy, this guy. You get the idea, right? I'm also going to make sure that I got all of this. All right, I'm going to go to uh, Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel. Let's do 0 0.1. Guess that's all right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to face, and I'm going to select these faces here. And this is going to be set into a wall, so I'm not going to do the back. If you want to be able to see this both sides, you need to do that both sides, obviously. Okay, so I'm going to hit Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.1 on the thickness, maybe a bit more. Let's do 0 0.3. Let's see. Yeah, and then we're going to tweak that offset a bit. Okay, not too much. Let's do 0 0.02. Let's have a look. That's fine. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Let's uh, have a look. It looks okay. Then we're going to go in and we can do that section down here. And just looking at the top there, let's make that guy a little bit flat. All right, so we're going to jump in here. We're going to go in. We're going to right click at a vertex. We're going to drag select these and these. Hit W and level that top right there. Okay. All right. So what's next? We're going to take a new polygon cube. And obviously we're going to do that for one side because we're going to copy that over. Get that into place. All right. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that out. And let's have a look. Take it from a top view, get to zoom in. Let's make sure that this guy is sitting where it should and it looks like it is. This guy, we're gonna hold down X and we're gonna snap it. And we're gonna do the same here. Yeah, okay, we're good. All right, so we're gonna hit R, we're gonna push that in a bit. And then we're gonna hit W and move that forward. And then what we're going to do is hit R and scale it a bit from this end. We're going to go to into the edge loop again. And this time we're going to do manual setting. Let's uh, put one in right there. Q on our keyboard. We're going to right click at a face, drag select these. We're going to hit uh, Control E to extrude. R to scale in. Looks like it's something like this looks fine and then if we want to add a little bit more detail we can go back in uh, let's see that's not the right one we can go back in to injured edge loop uh, which is still set to single if I'm not mistaken so we'll do one and two and maybe one up here okay 
Q on a keyboard, we're going to right click on a face, click and shift double click, control E to extrude, R to scale out, like this, and then, then oops, we'll take this one, control E to extrude, and we'll hit R to scale in, like that. Then we're going to want to bevel this bottom edge here. Make sure we got all of them. Go to uh, Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel. Let's uh, tweak this a little bit. 0 0.05 looks about right. Okay. And then we're going to go in and we're going to take another block from here. So take this guy. And uh, let's see. I think it's easier to just create a new one so we can copy that over. All right. So we copied a new cube. Push that in. From a top view, we can full full wireframe mode. This is the guy we're working with. So just to make things easier, I'm just going to move this to our center pivot for a second. Like this. And uh, let's see, where's my new cube at? It's right there, yep. Yeah. We can do the same there. So we're going to hit uh, X. We need R to scale that up. F to zoom in. We can hit W to push down. Hard to push in a bit, yeah. And there you go. W to push down, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click at an edge, we're gonna drag select the edges and shift drag select the center edges. Go to edit mesh and bevel. Let's do 0 0.1, which is fine. We're gonna right click go to object mode and W, bring that up. And we don't need those top faces, of course, so we're going to get rid of that. And you can do the same here if you like. All right, we're going to take this guy, we're going to bring it up. Make sure we've got a clean fit. Alrighty, we're going to drag select both, we're going to move them over, move them down, let's have a look from our perspective view, we can bring it forward just a bit, like so, and I'm going to take this guy, control D to duplicate, W to move down, And then we're going to hit Shift D, Shift D, and Shift D. We're going to drag select all of this stuff, with the exception of that. Control D to duplicate, W to move over. And there you have it. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy, but it can be a helpful uh, method if you are doing a lot of environmental stuff, okay? Well, that's it for this uh, video. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. And if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos, okay? See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.